Are you sometimes at a loss for what to do with a bag of chicken legs and thighs or legs and quarters? Are you tired of doing barbecue or maybe even fried chicken? Well today, Joe is here to show us how he makes his lemon herb broiled chicken legs and thighs. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. All right guys, so I have Joe in the kitchen with me again today because he's going to show us how he does this. So this is a 10 pound bag, right? Yep. 10 pound bag and leg and thigh or leg and quarters. He waits for them to be on sale, you know, like 79 cents a pound, 49 cents a pound. I scout around like when, like on Tuesday when I get the papers and I look in there and find the leg and thighs and this this 10 pound was like three, three forty-five for the For 10 pounds, 10 pounds, all right? This is our hard time meal, all right? <laughs> when we run out of real chicken, which is the whole chicken, Joe goes for this. Now, I see some slits on it. Did you do something to the yeah, thing already? Yeah, I, I, I sliced it like this so we could... Um, so you cored it already? Core good, so we I, could cook good. Did you wash it off with anything? Yeah, I wash it off with um, vinegar. Okay. And um, But this right now, I'm going to put some lemon on it so we could have some lemon chicken taste of some That's more. a lemon? Yep, it's a big lemon. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do now is I'm squeeze this all over and Wow. Okay, so while he's squeezing that, let me tell you about these seasonings. He has um, some sea salt, black pepper, garlic powder, oregano, and some cayenne and some ricotta. And of course, if you are not familiar with my show, let me tell you the ricotta is made from what? Anato and it's to color the meat, it would take the place of paprika or paprika, all right? So if you don't have this, go ahead and use paprika or paprika. Yeah, so now he's seasoning. You're not gonna rinse it off though, right? That's gonna stay on it? No, that's pretty sure I can get the taste of a lemon on it when it cooks. We love this. Like the title says, it's lemon herb broiled chicken, all right? Because he's gonna broil it. So he has the oven lit, and it's up to temperature already. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do now, folks, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit of this here. And sprinkle it all over. Joe, why do you have a country accent? Why, you not, why don't you have a Belize accent? Are you a real Belizean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I get all the time, so I have to put it back on Joe. <laughs> so you're just going to put it on each of them? Yeah. yeah huh? Yeah. Yes? yes? Okay. Uh -huh. and you're not going to put more ricotta, okay? You already have some in here? Okay. Some. That's why I mix a whole mixture. All right, so let Joe go ahead and sprinkle this on each and every one of them. We're only going to cook five out of the nine pieces, right? Because right. there's five of us. And um, I don't like this dinner the next day. I like it the first day because the skin is crunchy, almost like it's fried, you know? And it's so good. So we're going to cook the rest tomorrow for tomorrow's dinner, but this is for today's dinner. So let Joe go ahead and season the ball, well, the five pieces. And then when we come back, we're going to be putting it in the oven to broil. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Doing good. <laughs> That's why I hire you. Lemon on top of the chicken that I have in here. The the juices? The juices, that's all. Okay. There's a lemon, just put some on there. You know. Then we're not going to have none for these ones for tomorrow. Just squeeze another one. Oh, squeeze another lemon, okay. Duh, mommy. That's it. All right, so let's move over to the stove. Go wash my hand. Look, I got my hair in. I got my hair in. <laughs> so people don't have to cut me about my long hair no more. But I didn't cut it for that. I needed some shape. <laughs> Come, Josh. Uh, let's slide this right over here, folks, and uh, we'll be back. How long are you going to cook it for? About an hour. One hour before you come look at it? Before everything is done. No, one hour before you come look at it? No, no about uh, half an hour. You're going to come back and check on it in a half hour. Mm -hmm. All right, don't let it go longer than a half hour, guys. All right, guys, so Joe is just flipping them over so that they won't burn away. And see how low the tray is for the broiling? So keep an eye on them. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. When can we eat, Joe? Hmm? When can we eat? Now, if you want to. <laughs> We're gonna taste when it cools down, guys. I'm gonna cut a piece. Cut on this piece? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. All right, guys, Joe is steaming some cabbage behind me there on the stove. And this is our plate. I don't like chicken leg, 
so I always cut off the leg and I just eat the thigh and the back piece we've got some vegetables and Joe has a little potato here this is Joe's plate so why That's am I yours. taking away your leg this is my plate okay mm. potato he made me a potato and vegetables and the meat there you go baby there you go I have a piece here so let's taste You know what? You know what? <laughs> what? Just what I cook it. <laughs> Narcissistic much? He <laughs> says it tastes like I cook it. <laughs> Meaning him. <laughs> it is so good. And I like the skin. Normally Joe takes the skin off, right? You've seen him do chicken before. Mm. He likes to scrape things. You see him do chicken before where he takes the skin off. But for this, no, because you need the protection. When it's warm. Mmm. It's so good. You can taste the lemon in it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Come back and tell me what all you put on your chicken leg and pie, right? I want some of that cabbage, yeah? You want some? Yes, I want some. I love steamed cabbage with some a little bit of butter. Not a whole bunch. A little bit of butter. Bye, guys. Bye, people. Thanks for watching the Bear Pantry Show. Don't forget to follow the page and check out my book at my Facebook store or at bearpantryshow.com. Bye now.